Hello friends. In today's video, we will discuss how to reduce and treat back pain and low back pain. Now, back pain is a very common ailment which can seriously affect work performance and quality of life. Usually, eight out of every ten individuals will get back pain at some point of time in their lives. Now, back the back is a complex structure. This is made up of vertebral bones, supporting discs, spinal cord, nerves, cartilages, and muscles. Now, this combination makes the backbone a remarkably strong but mobile structure. Now, back pain can be acute, chronic, or recurrent. It is labeled as chronic when it has lasted for more than three months. Back pain can be again divided into cervical or neck pain. Now, this is upper back pain. Uh, the other is thoracic or middle back pain. This is the second type, and lumbar or lower back pain is the third type. Now, lower back pain is the most common and usually accounts for nearly 80% of back pains. Over-the-counter pain medication can help to reduce acute back pain along with rest and cold or hot applications. If required, prescription drugs can be used after seeking medical advice. This usually includes the use of non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs, muscle relaxants, and neuromodulators. Now, for chronic or intractable pains, physicians may consider local injections with various medicines or rarely surgery. Acupuncture, massage, biofeedback therapy, laser therapy, electric nerve stimulation, and other non-surgical spine treatments can make a good difference for chronic back pain. Ayurvedic medicines can be utilized for a few months to treat swelling, pain, and stiffness, help rebuild cartilage and heal damaged bones. Now, depending upon the diagnosis and severity of back pain, Ayurvedic treatment may be required for about 4 to 8 months. Self-medication should be avoided at all costs. It is absolutely necessary to take medical help if pain does not reduce or there are additional symptoms like impaired sensation, severe or increasing pain, bowel incontinence, limb weakness or paralysis. And other symptoms are fever and unexplained weight loss. Now, for all these symptoms, you have to take medical help immediately. Having said this, we will now discuss some simple steps, precautions, lifestyle changes and home remedies which can both prevent as well as treat most of the back pains. These include the following. You have to improve your posture. Now, when sitting, make sure it is in a supportive chair where your hips are higher than your knees. Avoid chairs that are too low or too soft such as sofas. Keep your neck in an upright position and don't let it poke forward. When working at a desk, avoid twisting movements by keeping your keyboard, mouse, telephone, etc. within easy reach. Your elbow should be at desk height and your chair pulled right in underneath. Use a pillow or rolled up towel in the small of your back if it needs extra support. Now when driving, you should take frequent breaks and get out of the car and wander around. If time permits, you may even do a little bit of stretching. Avoid remaining in the same position for long. When you lift something heavy, it's very easy to twist the wrong way. This can lead to muscle spasm and pain, usually known as a muscle catch. Use or a back catch. Use pro proper body mechanics by engaging your leg muscles, not your back, when you pick up heavier items. Get help if the item is too much for you to lift alone. Now the second one is foam rollers. Foam rollers are a popular choice for relieving pain in back muscles. The rollers effectively act like self-massage with the user's body weight providing the pressure. The third point is ice and heat treatment. Now cold application like ice is usually used within the first 48 to 72 hours of a back sprain after which heat can be used. Treatment time for both is usually 15 to 20 minutes to 3 times a day taking care not to harm the skin. Now think about your diet. Eating a balanced diet ensures that your body gets all the nutrition it needs to strengthen and repair itself. Anti-inflammatory foods may help reduce pain. These include whole grain foods, fruit and vegetables including leafy green vegetables, fiber foods, yogurt, some spices and these include turmeric, ginger, green tea and black pepper. Now foods that may make inflammation worse include highly refined flour or gluten refined sugars, trans fats and saturated fats and red meat. Turmeric milk, tart jerry juice and ginger green tea can reduce inflammation. Vitamin D can strengthen bone and reduce back pain and other body pains. Now you have to quit smoking. 
Smoking restricts blood flow to the discs that cushion your vertebrae. This could lead to a quicker disc degeneration. Smoking also reduces calcium absorption and new bone growth. This increases the risk of fracture due to osteoporosis. The next point is to lose weight. It is also worth noting that if you are carrying excess weight, it can put additional strain on your back. Losing those extra pounds is a great way to give your back a break and rediscover the joy of movement. Next point is to get enough sleep. <clears throat> you have to try to get about 6 to 7 hours of sleep at night. Sleep relaxes mind and muscle, reduces muscle pain, strain and spasm as well as reduces pain perception. Now vitamin C, vitamin B6, melatonin, L-theamine and valerian can help bring about sleep easily. Mindful meditation can also help. The next important point is to adjust your sleep position. Getting the right support from your mattress is crucial in helping with back pain at night. Finding the appropriate firmness to provide relief while keeping your body supported is important, no matter what position you like to sleep in. You should try and keep your spine in a straight position, so avoid using too many pillows which can push your head out of line. And you should also consider putting a pillow between your knees if sleeping on your side or under them if you sleep on your back. Now stretching, next point is stretching. Regularly stretching the muscles, tendons and ligaments that support the spine is an important element of all back exercise programs. Benefits of stretching include 1. Reducing tension in muscles supporting the spine. Now tension in these muscles can worsen pain from any number of back pain conditions. The second point is improving range of motion and overall mobility and the third point is reducing the risk of disability caused by back pain. Now back pain can be easily reduced or prevented using the following exercises knee to chest stretch, modified cobra, standing hip stretch, seated spinal twist, pelvic tilt and glute bridges. Now hot tub bath and swimming or water exercises can also help with back pain. Now the next point is manage stress. Stress can cause or aggravate back pain so it is necessary to manage or reduce stress using relaxation techniques like meditation, deep breathing, stretching exercises and yoga. Now yogic asanas, these are also important. Yoga asanas which can help in the reduction and prevention of back pain include uh, Bhujangasana, Paschimuttanasana, Ushtrasana, Dhanurasana and Setu Bandhasana. Now details and images of these are available online or you can enroll for yoga classes. Now back pain associated with pregnancy. During pregnancy the ligaments in your body naturally become softer and stretched to prepare you for labor. This can put a strain on the joints of your lower back and pelvis which can cause back pain. The same methods I described so far can help relieve back pain with this condition too. Now in this way people affected with back pain can use a combination of rest, medicines, diet and exercises to treat their pain on a long term basis. An accurate diagnosis by a qualified and experienced medical practitioner is a must. Likewise, it is best to take professional help for handling acute back pain and for planning long-term treatment and management with exercises. What works best for one person may not work for someone else. Also, different stages of back pain causing diseases may require different management in the same individual. However, it is an established fact that regular adherence to an effective exercise program can definitely preserve structure and function of the back on a long-term basis. So friends, this is a short description of how to treat and reduce back pain and low back pain. Let's meet in the next video. Goodbye.